In this analysis video, we're going to compare these two companies and see which is a better overall investment right now. If you had to invest in one, which would it be? We're going to split this analysis into two categories, the business and the price. So let's compare the businesses of these two companies. For the business, we're going to compare the two companies and the S&P 500. For the business, we're looking at these eight metrics. You can pause this video if you want to read them. Here you see the comparison between our two companies and the S&P 500. A metric highlighted in green is awarded two points and the metric highlighted in red is given no points. The total points tell us which stock has the best business. Okay, next let's look at the price of both companies. The fair price is based on a discounted cash flow model with a 10% margin of safety. Obviously, the more undervalued the stock, the better. What we have here is the fair price of both companies, and the difference between their fair price relative to their current stock price is their investment attractiveness. The stock with the higher percentage is the more attractive stock right now. Before we get to our final grade comparison, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company and ETF I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Link on the screen and in the description. Let's then put the business and the price together to see which company is a better overall investment. Here you see the final grades of each company on a 0 to 100 scale. The company with the higher grade is the better overall investment right now. Remember, this takes into account the business and the stock's price. A lower grade might mean the business isn't that great or the price is just too expensive right now. Subscribe for more analysis videos. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.